All right, Nobs, thanks for uh, joining me, pal. Um, West Ham going to be taking on Spurs, a fixture that we both know very well. Yeah. I wanted to kind of dig into the memories of the fixture, really. Uh, but before we do that, as we are kind of in the surroundings that we are, you grew up a West Ham boy, came through the academy. I, I, I never had that kind of experience, obviously, at Spurs. I kind of was thrust into it. And I want to kind of know, when did the West Ham Spurs kind of thing, like, hit you? Well, it was actually before I become a first-team player. I, I remember I, I went to a game, my dad's mate took me to a game at, why I lane as a as a I was in the academy but I was a I was a boy and uh I went with him sat in the away end I think Ian Pierce scored in the last second of the game to make it a draw or something like that and you could tell like the the atmosphere was different to other games yeah. we walked back to the station and there was all, there was a pub with all West Ham fans in and it ended up being a a, a big fight outside someone got their car smashed up and we were just standing outside a a shop watching this all unfold. Mm. Um, it was mad. I was like, "Wow, this is mad!" <laughs> this and then I think the the year later, I played at I played at White Lane as a West Ham player. A year just, later, yeah, a year later, I think it was. Yeah, because because I mean, essentially, like West Ham's big rivals is Millwall. Over the years, that, yeah. but I mean, that game very rarely happens. Correct now. Yeah. So, you know, was it just? I don't know. Was there any other story around why Spurs were just? The next one on the list that West Ham hate more <laughs> yeah, than any other know, London yeah. club. <laughs> I think I think it was like I don't know. I think it was the I don't think Arsenal was a, a massive rival. They yeah. was obviously winning titles and, and all that. So it just was something uh, with Spurs um, that was such a such a big rivalry. I, <laughs> one, I always tell people this one that that game I took a corner and um, and a, a sausage hit me on the back of the neck with <laughs> with ketchup. And I remember going like that, thinking, well, I thought it was blood at first, it was, and then I looked down and there was a sausage on the floor. So, oh. <laughs> so one of their fans had already played three quid for a hot dog and threw it at me. But yeah, could have been worse. Yeah, could exactly. Have been worse. Yeah, no, exactly. But it was like, it was, I, I loved it. Mm. I loved it. I loved the uh, the rivalry. I loved playing in them games. I, I played in loads of them and uh, got a hide in them a few and won in a few. So it was, it was, it was, it was fantastic in my career. Yeah. Talk me through your first one, kind of how it happened, how you were feeling. That day you kind of... Because uh, at White Hart Lane, your first game. Yeah, White Hart Lane. You? I was 17, I think, yeah. And um, Adam Pardew called me into his office just underneath here and was like, uh, I was training with the first team, training well. And he said, um, you're going to pl- you're gonna play tomorrow. And I was like, oh, oh, we're playing Spurs. Yeah. We're playing Spurs away. So I rang the old man. I said, Dad, you ain't going to believe it. He's like, what? I went... Uh, he went, I'm, I'm, I'm starting tomorrow. <laughs> he was like, yeah, all right, whatever. <laughs> I said, no, I'm starting tomorrow at White Lane against Spurs. And and then I looked and you had Mickey Carrick, obviously you know well, yeah, and, yeah. and Edgar Davids playing in the team. And yeah. it was like, uh, yeah, it was some occasion. And then the ball broke. It's one of them ones as a young lad, the ball broke in midfield and probably a 70, 30 on my behalf, but it's like with Edgar Davids. And yeah, it was just a surreal moment. And we ended up drawing the game as well. So, But I remember Pard saying to me, because I it, the first 20 minutes was like, Joe, you've been through it. You're yeah. like, wow, this is quick. Rapid, yeah. yeah, and and it's a derby as well. Mm. And you're used to playing training with the first team, of course, and playing a few reserve team games or whatever. But you um you go in and play a game like that, and it, the intensity was was immense. And then mm. after 20 minutes, I sort of got used to it and settled down a little bit, and and uh, yeah, and loved it. The go- the game you scored, the volley yeah. against us. I-, I remember you very well from that game. Yeah, and. I don't know what it was. I think I was having a bit of a nightmare in the game. I remember not playing very well. But I remember looking at you and thinking, this lad's got some serious energy. Like, you were flying all <laughs> yeah. over the place. And I remember, got... I, I, don't know, I don't think it was you. I can't remember who it was. In the first five minutes, I think I got booked. And I was like, oh, what an <laughs> idiot. What did I do that for? And then I scored the volley and I was yeah. going to whip my shirt off and it comes to me, don't take your shirt off because you're going to... It's, it was mad, yeah, yeah. No, it was, but, I mean, but what's crazy about that, cause, and, and I think one of the reasons why it always stuck out to me is, um, I don't know how many times we played against him in the future, who knows, but I, I remember thinking in that game, God, like, he's lively, he gets around, he's busy, he's on the edge of the box. Got, I've kind of got to keep my wits about where he is because you keep popping up in all these random places. Yeah. And then, like, I fast-forwarded, like, five, six years and you're just in front of the back four just balling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I think, like, I think that was more... Guy? Yeah, it, that was sort of probably more in, like, enthusiasm. And, and I think what happened was that game, that game you're talking about there, mm. we... Um, I was out there, I was training with the first team and I was playing, we had Cholt, the week before we played Cholt, that was a 4-3 game, wasn't it? Yeah, it you was, yeah. About, yeah. yeah we Jay, we had Cholt and away. 
and I was starting in the team and uh, Curbs was the manager. And I, I sort of, it was a Friday Friday morning, sort of just nipped the ball away and we had a striker come in and he, and he went over the top by accident, ankle roll straight away, blew up. I was like, no way, I've yeah. been waiting for this. Went to the game. <laughs> we lost 4-0, I think, to Cholton. Pards was at Cholton. Curbs was with us. It was a bit of a switch of clubs. The rivalry was there a little bit and... And then for that, for four days, I just iced and iced and iced because I thought I'll have a chance of playing against Spurs at home. Scored, obviously went 2-0. I think Carlos scored a free kick, I think. And then, um, yeah, it got me heartbroken up crying at the end of the game. It, so, it was a, I remember that, yeah. Yeah, it was, a, it, was, it was an amazing, uh, it was an amazing game. And, and that sort of was the start of that great escape that we had because we were struggling yeah. at the time. And, um, kind of like catalyst to say look, it was really yeah, exactly yeah like, even though we lost it was like wow yeah. we actually are quite a good team when we get playing and yeah and then yeah obviously the rest is mm. was history the moment it hit me and when kind of from a Spurs perspective it was like right there's a dislike now was uh, I don't know if you don't know if you're playing the game or not but do you remember when we apparently got poisoned yeah at, at Upton Park yeah. Yeah, yeah last game of the season you lot are in Champions League yeah Arsenal, we've got Arsenal on the ropes, obviously. We've just got to beat yourselves and we're in the Champions League for the first time. And you lot had a cup final yeah. against Liverpool. And you put in the performance of a century. <laughs> and I was like... I think, was it, was it Cole Fletcher scored a yeah. <laughs> from 30 yards? Some, yeah. Some, it, but it, it was, the game was what it was. I think we went 1-0 up. You ended up beating us, I remember. But it was this moment. I was sat in the dressing room. And no, honestly, it was like eight, nine, ten people just being sick everywhere. One's in the toilet, one's in the sink, and someone's in a bucket. Everyone's just been sick everywhere. And then all you could hear was the biggest party ever going yeah. on. Do you in know what? It's mad you opposite. say that because till this day now, even uh, retired after that, I've never spoke to a Spurs player about that day. Yeah. As in, obviously, I heard. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never heard someone say to me, oh, "Do you know what? The boys were being sick." We yeah. just thought, "No." Oh yeah, well, there was one or two players. No, there. It was we the whole team. Um, what a shame. <laughs> <laughs> Edgar was the only player, right, that didn't have any type of food poisoning and he had a nightmare <laughs> on the day. This is no joke, this actually <laughs> happened and I'm, cause I'm sat there next to Martin Yolo as the game's going on or just behind him and he's turning around. You know, sometimes you can hear the manager talking about he's having one, this, yeah, that yeah. and the other and he's gone, right, let's take him off. So he's gone up to get the, the board up to take off Edgar and Michael Carrick's come running over and gone, don't you dare. Like, I cannot last another second on this pitch. Like, get me off now. And this, he's had to keep Edgar on and take, that's how bad take like off, Carrick yeah. and like everybody else was. But it was just like, everyone's been sick. It was horrendous, honestly. And then, but it was the, the minute I heard that music and I could see what was going on, I was like, okay, something's ignited now in terms yeah. of this. Yeah, it, was, but it took that. Yeah, it was. I, and I think, do you know what, Jay? Because I was obviously brought up as a, as a West Ham fan mm. and, and around yeah. loads of West Ham fans myself, they always ingrained in me that it was like, oh, we've got to beat Spurs, we've yeah. got to beat Spurs. And I was like, all right, like, well, we'll try. But yeah, it, yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? And then I think there was a spell where Hughes lot was, was really good. I think mm. under H, Hughes, yeah, Hughes was... was yeah, and yeah, yeah, exactly. And all that. Yeah, we had a top you had a top, top team, team yeah. and it was really, uh, it was a tough to beat. And then I always found that because of where I lived and I had friends and all that, we all, I always knew a, a re, like a Spurs fan. I met I met a, a really good friend of mine now who's a big Spurs fan yeah. on holiday. And uh, I, I remember we played against you uh, at Spurs and, and Ravel scored that wonder oh, goal. Oh, yeah, that game, yeah, yeah. And it, Ravel always had that in him. Like yeah. He was just a genius at times on the ball. And we was freeing him up. And I knew exactly where my mate sat in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the crowd. And Ravel ran over and celebrated, I'm, I'm with him. I was looking for him, but I couldn't see him. And then the, the, the next guy, I think I set it up. I come inside, played outside the right foot to uh, Vaz Tay, and he went through and scored or whatever. And then I see him, and I'm, 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 going, I'm, like, I'm like, going like that to him, but didn't realise that yeah. obviously all the other Tottenham fans don't realise that. Don't know I'm, what's going on, you no, know him. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, and then oh, I just got hammered <laughs> for the rest of the game. But... It was a yeah, it was a, it was a great. Like, I had some real good memories against yeah. Spurs. Do, do you memories. think like um, do you think you had an advantage in those games because of your upbringing? In comparison, did you ever have to kind of like go around the dressing room and have a look at I don't know Avazte or Ravel when he turned up and a few others and go listen this this one's. I remember saying to the boys many a times that listen like 
you don't need a team talk for these games. Mm. It's like it says it is what it is. You you got to we got to try and win. We it's a big derby, but I remember the one thing that really stuck out for me was we we was the first team to at the new stadium. This was yeah. we were the first team to I think Antonio scored, and um, and then I come in. I've done the press. And the players wanted to take a photo together. You know what they oh, do in yeah, the change yeah, rooms yeah, now. Yeah. And I was like, not not a chance. Mm. And they was like, oh, come on. No, it's, just, like, it's the first team to win here and all that. They ain't conceded a goal. And I was mm. like, I said, not a chance of we having a photo here mm. because I believe that we should expect to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even though Spurs have, have no, gone. Do you know what I mean? I, I believe that we should expect to beat Spurs. Not mm. uh, if, you, if you go away and, <laughs> I don't know, and... You plan champion or getting a Champions League and you beat PSG away, then maybe. But like for me, if we beat Spurs, it, I just thought it had to be I'm trying to shift the mentality. Correct, correct. I didn't, I didn't, I, I didn't want to. Uh, I didn't want it to be probably about a little bit of ego as well, Jermaine. Mm. I didn't want it to be the, a, a photo come out with us just because we beat Spurs one yeah. 0 Like that's for me, that wasn't good enough. We needed to go on and and be better as a club than that. You know what I mean? No, that's good. Bale's last minute winner. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's <laughs> some goal. I mean, I mean, when you, you look at Premier League kind of history and games that kind of that, that happened, and you know, don't get me wrong, like the Eric Dyer one was like his first goal last minute. But there's something about that Bale. I missed the pen that game, by the way. Which one? The, the Eric Dyer last yeah. minute. Yeah. Jeez. At, at nil nil. No. Yeah, and God, then there's one for the record. But you missed many, don't fair. miss many. No, <laughs> and I missed against Spurs. <laughs> <laughs> Even worse. <laughs> Sorry to remind you of that. Do you know that one though? Loris was in goal. And I always, that, that was probably one of the, it was the worst at the time, but it was the, one of the best things that happened to me because I'd already took like five, I don't know how many it was, but it was quite a few before then. And I run up Jermaine and I'd see, I'd, I'd already, like I looked up and I'd seen Loris Go. move, yeah. yeah. And because it was Spurs, yeah. I was already celebrating, mate. Like yeah, I'd like never forget it. I was like, yeah. oh my God, he's gone so early. Oh, this this yeah. is easy. Eye off the ball, like, Dragged it wide a little bit. Didn't even hit the target, mate. It was horrendous. And for me, I was like, I was laying in bed that night thinking, that is the sloppiest thing you've ever done as a player. Yeah. Like, it ain't in until it's in, yeah. sort of thing. So remind me about the Bale game. Because did you play in the game? <sighs> yeah, just disgusting. Like, but Gareth just, he had that, didn't oh, he? Well, you know, yeah. like, he just had that. He was never safe with him with his left foot within thirty. Well, it, it was the year. It was the year he won Player of the Year yeah. as well. And I mean, he was on. He was on fire that year, wasn't he? That season with the, the in the Milan, it just yeah, he was, he I was like, wow, yeah. this is yeah. He was and on then, another planet. Yeah, you you could tell. If there was a if there was a, a game you could think of, <clears throat> off the top of your mind, um, I suppose that really kind of like stands out to you. You know the Spurs West Ham games of of, you know, of your era in particular, because you you played over a long period of time. So you had yeah. some at Spurs New Stadium, some at your New Stadium, the London Stadium, Upton Park. Yeah. White Hart Lane, you had all four, really. Yeah. Is there one in particular that stands out? And it, it doesn't even have to be because you've won. I don't know, you played really well. It was a catalyst for something. You scored a goal. Is there uh, one in particular? Do you know what, Jermaine? I'm gonna, I, wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna say it because of the question you've asked me. I'm gonna. I was, uh, we was having a tough season and we played uh, Spurs at Upton Park. And uh, I was, I'd bought uh, an engagement ring two weeks before. <laughs> and uh, I'd been with Carly since I was like 12 or 13 so yeah. I wasn't worried about her saying no I just <laughs> didn't really know how to do it sort of thing yeah. and then I, I had the ring for ages or whatever and you know what it's like when you're, when you're a footy mate like we got, we're going from one game to the next training course, yeah. we never really had a time to go out or whatever it was a beautiful sunshine uh, sunny day and we played Spurs at home and I remember I think it was 1-0 or 2-1 we won the game and I, t uh, I set a Freddie Picky or not for a header to score I think it was the winning goal mm. I'll never forget running back after celebrating because he ran over towards me and we celebrated and I remember running back to the centre circle thinking I'm going to ask her later Shut yeah, up. yeah if we win you. I'm going to ask her later yeah and um, it was embarrassing how I'd done it mate I regret it <laughs> we finished the game went for something to eat and my, my daughter yeah my daughter was whacking things on the, on the, on the table and, that, and uh, I just like yeah I asked her and you know, I still had my West Ham tracks on I didn't even get down in one knee, mate. It's embarrassing. But I had the ring, so I might as well. So now it's, a, it's a small, uh, bright moment in the season. So <laughs> Why not? And, you know, like Spurs teams you faced, 
you, you faced a good few. Do you know what I mean? I think you, know, you talk about Davids. That was like me, Carrick, and Davids in midfield at that time. Then yeah. you had kind of like the next like Harry's team, whether it was kind of Tom. Huddleston, whether it was Modric, myself, Palacios, Sandro yeah. in that midfield. Is there is there any teams over the kind of that you always thought that one was the one that really causes the most trouble? Because uh, even had Harry Kane in his pomp, like yeah, doing his stuff. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? um, and Delhi at uh, Delhi for a that season time, was yeah. in, incredible, almost um, unplayable that year. I think I've, I'm when when playing against Modric at that time. Yeah, at times when you think, wow, he was that good. And people, I don't think you, uh, Jermaine, you, you, you've played against players where in, we all know Modric is great, of course, uh, world class, but mm. until you actually play against someone yeah. and you go, wow, he's actually like top, top. Yeah. And uh, there was a, a game at White Hart Lane. I can't remember who else played with him, um, <clears throat> but he was... Unplayable. Yeah, and, and that team in particular, I think, just functioned well around him. As yeah, well. whether it was he kind sort of Bale, I think Azzel, you know what Vandervar. H was like. I think he sort of give him a. Yeah. He what did play under H? Wasn't he he would have done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he give him sort of a do what you want that you're that he good did, sort yeah. of thing. And um, wow, he was he was he was a top top. You should player. have tried training against him every day. Mate. That went <laughs> no, pretty. Yeah. Even. I think that was the end for me. Yeah, <laughs> but you, you, do you know what? No, everyone says, "Oh, how, how's he? How's he still doing it?" And Jermaine, you, you play with top players when yeah. you've got a football brain like that, you know, like yeah. I, I, I found with myself, I've become uh, the older I got, the more experience I got as a player. Um, obviously, your legs go a little bit and, and your physicality, but I was a better footballer than I ever was. You know what I mean, yeah. I just couldn't run as much. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, my, my brain and um, was better than it ever was. It's yeah. just obviously you lose your, your legs, which is you got to use now in football. Well, Thank you very much for your time, Nobes. Pleasure. I would say good luck, but you know you I don't, don't mean, mean it. Really, no, no, yeah. I'd rather you be honest. <laughs> Cheers, Jay. Thanks. Cheers, Thanks for coming, Geese. <laughs>